Right, so having a little quick look through um, Kruger B. Um, there's no real, um, no real uh, resources or anything particularly interesting, which is uh, weird. A little disappointing. Might as well check out Kruger A. And then we go back to Vega. I was really hoping for something a little more. Ah, just one world. Or one big one. Right. There's a treasure world there. A carbide world. And a radioactive world. Let's, uh... Get all the goodies. Right, yeah, it seems like a good place to go. I wish they gave you more drone debris for fighting uh, actual dangerous drones. Pulling out of there, so um, I've got a large amount of um, resources. So <laughs> utterly dreadful. Quite disappointed by um, what I found out here. But Fwifo was a good was a good system. Anyway, I've got a lot to sell them. Uh, Mail Nim. Yeah, it's a little bit. It's a little bit disappointing, but it's life. Everything is disappointing after you find a system like Fwifo. There's a crystal world there as well. Shopping. So I want to ideally sell all my sell all my resources. Look at how much that goes up. Supercharger. I don't know what that is yet, so we're going to outfit first. I'm going to definitely get the um, beam carver there. Because uh, if I've got a fast maneuverable ship, the beam carver will be useful. Heat shields. 
improved engine for landing craft. Yes, thank you. I'll go with that. Right, outfit. Back, trade. I want to buy fuel. What other things can I purchase? All right, so they got no other particular bonuses out there. Specials. No specials. Modules. Cancel. New specials as. Yeah, I think I've got everything that I really need for uh, for the ship. Not so cuddle drive. like that. So there's a not so cuddle drive. Back. Right. It's a git trick planet. It's got decent resources on it. But if I've got a spare cuddle drive, what that means is that um, with a spare cuddle, oh, that's my improved lander speed. I'm not, I'm not used to actually being able to. Uh, deck out a planet so quickly. Just goes to show that 20% extra speed makes all the difference. Pretty much any game. Right, there's a dual planet just lurking out the way there. Right, so there's a Yitric, Plutonic. There's a degenerate world there. Whoa, 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 whoa. There's a crystal one there as well. Nobody's going to die out here. Right. I mean, Vega's a good system, definitely. thing is, I, I, I like this a lot more than I liked uh, exploring Fwifo, because the thing is, whilst I'm getting less for my, less bang for my buck, I actually feel like I'm doing a proper exploration of the planet, you know? Or rather, a proper exploration of the universe and not just being given everything on a silver platter. So there's a crystal world. Wow, look at that. Palladium and antimatter.
Maybe I'll get to this um, antimatter without a single person dying, wouldn't that be good? That was a nice planet. Good amount of resources. Terrestrial desert. Oh, we've already been this one. Much nicer to have more maneuverability there. So terrestrial it is. Alright, so there's not a lot of value here in terms of resources compared to the plants that I was going to beforehand. But you gotta take into account that the majority of planets that I visited early on were low, really, really low level planets, you know. Um, they had small resources and they were definitely not Fuefo type planets. rely on every single star system just giving you everything that you ever wanted. That's uh, overpowered. Metal world. They tend to be quite good. Electric terrestrial. Uh, Certian, that's a terrestrial. Terrestrials, terrestrials. Ah, there's another crystal on there. So Vega's a pretty good um, system actually. But what we want to be doing is we want to be going home after this because we've got a new huddle drive. Alright, I've already, I guess I've already been to that one, didn't I? Yeah. I'll just check out the terrestrial just to see whether or not it's decent. Yeah, I can't turn down that amount of neutronium, can I? Right, let's go, go, go. Whoa. Steady on, sweetheart. So yeah, there's some good there's some good resources out here in the Vega system. What we'll want to do is um, I'm pretty sure there's a star base over here somewhere. Delta concrete. Delta Wendigos. should probably do is um, I'm gonna head to Beta Horus because that's a purple system. Now Fwifo is a purple system and I want to see whether or not it has a mix. Alright, let's see who are these guys. Target acquired. Well he hasn't told me that. So engaging now. Right, I'm gonna destroy these guys.
Right, so I was going to head over to Beta Horos, uh, autopilot to there. It'd be interesting to figure out whether or not um, this one's got a specific reason to. Uh, So we've got Crystal Planet there. So Crystal Canyon, Canyon, Hydrocarbon, Hydrocarbon, Canyon. Right, so um, I'm going to try out this Hydrocarbon one. Take the Crystal Planet and then. Uh, I shall probably head home because I've got another hyperdrive. Ah, uh, it's just another starship. Found a wrecked ship, Captain. We'll see yep. if we can get this thing flying. Right, so there's two unknown enemies on this planet. Huh, unknown entities. That means that they're probably probes. They're an unknown drone type. Sad, tragic waste of my uh, beautiful life and existence. So, what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to head up towards Gamma Pavo, and then I'm going to cut down towards Sol. I'm going to look for the other um, space base. A 
I've also run out of a significant number of crew. I should probably go back to Sol and see what I can hand in. I've heard other ships in the fleet report on good fishing in this area, which is weird. I don't see any ocean worlds. been here before. Train. Sell resources. Buy items. Fill me up full of fuel. So back. They're gonna outfit. Check and see what new modules are. Cargo pods is useful. I can get two thousand cargo, so I prefer that as a weapon, it's scary enough. Small fuel pod provides a modest amount of fuel storage. So you want a hyperdrive accelerator. bad so far. Wish we had some sensor. Wonder if we can get any more things for our increases collection range. Well, because I don't know, generally have a lot of risk from that sort of stuff, I think uh, enhanced collector would be a good idea. Oh, that's nice. So I can hypergate between those ones. Uh, that, that's really, really useful, actually. And now I've got a spare cuddle drive. I can head back to Earth. Should be really, really cool. I like the maneuverability I've got, and I really, really need some new crew. So I'm just happy to return home. Welcome back, Captain. Got a hyperdrive. Great. We've been learning from the Taiwan that hyperdrive fuel delivery systems are also pretty specialized. We can fabricate one ourselves, but we're going to need 10 units of francium to do it. Will this do? Sorry, Captain. I don't think it will. That's little more than a spare emergency hyperdrive. It's certain you'll have to find something with a little more oomph, and the Taiwan have sealed it somehow. I don't think we'll be able to reverse engineer. Keep looking, though. Maybe you... Anything else, Captain? Alright. So we need Frank here. Okay. Anything else? 
anything else, Captain? I'll get going. Good luck, Captain. Right. So where can I go that will be cool? Three Orionis, unlike the Meg Mac, we've got again the Beta Pavo and our friends and Captain's Log. Right. Altair requested I help them. Right. Star Control is us just to return any hyperdrives we've found. Alright, so what I'm going to probably do is I'm going to take a chance. Alright, so. Pi 3 Orionis. If I go for there and try and communicate with the main command. I mean, they have a very, very strange civilization. I still find it a little bit worrisome that they are so obsessed with the idea of stabbing uh, other people. I've always found that sort of thing a little bit unusual. Mind you, I live in Colchester, so which is probably becoming the stabbing capital of uh, Britain. We've got an incredible number of stabbings per capita. It's nice that we're going so fast through hyperspace now. I mean, we really burn through this fuel though, that's the only problem. But with the extra fuel that we've got, it's not so big a worry. And we've also gone into um, a greenish sort of space here. So that's probably going to be owned by somebody. No one's approaching us at the moment. But the main aim is to contact the Meg Mac and try and sort something out with them. Okay. just about handle it. Alright, and we shall find out whereabouts they are in a minute. Catch you in a sec. Come on! 